Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I am a senior software support analyst supporting the Transformation Extender product from IBM. The topic for this video is Alternative ITX Functions for Performance. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Within ITX there are certain functions such as lookup that can cause quite a performance hit. They are very expensive in terms of CPU usage. There are alternative functions that can be used such as search down and these are much faster but there are some caveats that you need to bear in mind when using them. For example with search down the input data needs to be sorted. Let's go on to a practical demonstration. I'm going to remove a lookup function and change it to search down to improve performance. I'm going to start my demonstration in the ITX 1012 Design Studio where you can see I have a project called Performance Funks. Within there I have a map source file called test.mms and among the maps I have there is a test1. Test1 is reading two files. It's reading a large unsorted data file and then it's reading a reference file that contains 3000 numbers. Over on the output side we call a functional map f underscore find people and we send down one of those numbers from the 3000 number list and the entire reference lookup file. In the functional map itself we do an output rule that includes reading the input number again a space equals space and then concatenated onto the end a text version of a lookup of the employee ID where it matches the number and bringing back the whole row. So let's build and run this map and see how long it takes. As you can see it's running through the output objects here. I'm expecting it to go up to a value of around 3000. There we go, the map has completed successfully and if we open the audit log we can see that the file took 8.64 seconds to run. Now this varies between runs, sometimes it's around 7 seconds, sometimes it's as high as 9. But basically that is the time it takes to do those 3000 lookups. I'm going to run it one more time and finished and this time it was 7.52 seconds. So let's see what we can do to improve that. The first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of the map so that we can leave the original alone. The new map is going to be called test2. Instead of calling a functional map called f underscore find people, I'm going to call f underscore find quick. I'm going to send in the same values. Now f underscore find quick doesn't currently exist. I'm going to make a copy of the f underscore find people map as a starting point for my f underscore quick map. In the quick map I'm going to change the lookup to a search down. An additional change is required, whereas lookup only has two arguments, the row and then a statement, search down requires three, the row and the two objects to compare. So instead of this equal symbol here I just need to put in a comma. So that's all the changes required in the functional map. In the top level map you will recall that I said search down doesn't work unless the data is sorted. So instead of reading input unsorted we're going to have to read the sorted version of the file. Now while you might think well there's an overhead involved in sorting the file we will come to that in a moment. So with the sorted version of the file being read and the statement being changed from a lookup to a search down let's see how long this takes to run save, build, run and as you can see the map is completed successfully in near enough instantaneous time. We have 0 colon 0 0. For more accuracy let's have a look at test2.log and it shows that it ran in just over four hundredths of a second, no, nearly five hundredths of a second there. Okay, so with regard to the sorting of the file, you think, okay, well that will take some time itself, so maybe you'd lose all the benefits that you gained. But not really, no. 
Here's my sort map that's reading the unsorted data and writing to the sorted data here. And if we build and run this map, you can see that this also completes almost instantaneously. And if we look at the log file for that, that only took four hundredths of a second. So within two steps, one taking four hundredths of a second, one taking five hundredths of a second, you've got exactly the same output that previously took well over seven seconds to achieve just by changing the functions used. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button and perhaps leave a comment. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content such as this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on popular social media channels at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.